Hi, Carl and Reed here. I'm here at the Gleason Public Library and it's my pleasure today to talk to a sculptor and to uh, several folks who are curators at the arts program here at the library. I'm here with Emily Stewart and Andrea Urban and we're going to talk about sculpture today. Hello folks, how are you doing today? Emily? Hi, Andrea. Good, good to meet you. So, um, I understand that you're curators at the arts program. What does it mean to be a curator? Well, <laughs> we actually just get a lot of artist information and uh, look at a lot of photographs and we look at portfolios and we visit studios. The program is called Art at the Gleason mm. and Gleason. it was started 20 years ago when they put the new edition onto the library. Uh, Brooke Cragen called me and asked me to start help decorating the walls a little bit with some art, which led into our program and, and starting with some local artists. Um, Emily was one of the artists that showed some of her art. Mm -hmm. And our four curators are Emily and I, and Amy Livens, and Sandy Eisenbees. Okay. Yep. And so the program itself, what does it involve? Well, so, I mean, our mission is to really, you know, get art out into the community, um, you know, sort of broaden the horizons, uh, and presenting a wide range of arts and um, collections and displays for um, people of the community. We also provide uh, some cultural and artistic activities, as well as, you know, just change up the space here at the library. And uh, the, the staff loves it, and the patrons really love the changing, you know, um, visual stimulation here. So sure. it's been it's been great. Yeah. Sure. I, I think people notice when the walls are bare. Yeah, that's and, right. And that tells us a lot. In between shows, they're like, wait a minute, what's wrong? That's <laughs> what's right. going on? This isn't right. You do notice yeah. it when yeah. it's done. Oh, it absolutely, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And we, you know, we really do um, facilitate uh, the whole process. So we, we gather the artists, we try to put uh, like pieces together, and we have two-dimensional work, three-dimensional work, and we try to, uh, you know, make a cohesive show. Um, we help facilitate the communication between the artists. Um, if there are three artists exhibiting, we want to make sure that they can all talk and come up with a title and um, their promotional material, as well as, um, you know, planning a reception. Um, if there are any artist talks, we try to facilitate that as well. You have, a, you have receptions? We okay. do, yes. <laughs> and and there's wine. Um, there, After hours. <laughs> uh, Friday yep, night. Friday night wine reception. With which, jazz music. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. And we have a Carlisle house band. Yes. <laughs> the, the Gleason house band is um, a jazz group that is they're really great and they're perfect for background. So um, they, um, we've gotten permission from the town to, um, you know, get a permit for the night and we sure. are able to serve a little alcohol and um, it really does make a lively event, especially when there's not a whole lot to do here in Carmel. <laughs> so it becomes a fun event. My understanding is both of you live are, live here in Carlisle, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. and how, how long have you lived in Carlisle? Ten oh. years. Ten you years? probably oh over more. fifty years. Okay. Been here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And you it sounds like you've both enjoyed art, being in the arts programs for a long time. You yeah. yourself, you yourself are an artist. I am an artist. What yeah. Type of art do you, do you do? Well, I do um, when I have the time. I'm actually an interior designer, <laughs> so uh, it, it's sort of a back you know back burner thing. But I do um, gouache painting and oil mm -hmm. painting. So I understand that you're also interested in the arts, Andrea. What's your background? Yes, um, my background is really music, um, but I've learned so much about the art, working through with the curators, and then meeting the artists that come in, and we've had um, a variety of artists, sometimes closet artists, people who've never shown before, people who are just getting into art, and then the professional artists, and I think for the community uh, and the town to meet uh, and maybe discover that their neighbor is um, doing this art, mm. and it's the whole idea yeah. of... Getting doing, it out there it out for the there. community. Yes, whether you're a professional or yeah. you do it as a, as a little hobby. And Andrea is very modest because she's also a dancer and she is, a, you know, an art collector for sure. Yeah. Very so, good. sounds like you're well tuned to be 
curators for the public yeah. library here. Yeah, I think all four curators provide a really great combination of skill sets. <laughs> right. You know, I sort of yes. have the art, mm -hmm. you know, like, I'm because of my interior design background, I think the installations sort of my my high point and then you know Andrea is so wonderful with communicating mm -hmm. with the artists and Amy is our organizer, organizer. Yeah. and Sandy does our labels and she's also an artist and so I think we are uniquely qualified to all come together to do this job. I'm glad the library is able to show the works that you want to put together. It sounds like it's a good good relationship. With oh the, the library library's. couldn't be more supportive. Right. Um, Martha Pini Patton is the the director and she is just wonderfully supportive and uh, of everything that we do and um, and they're very involved in every part of this because the receptions take a lot of organization the library becomes this party scene and so some of the uh, you know like the front desk circulation desk becomes a bar and you know so it really is a group effort to get uh, you know the receptions up and going mm -hmm. So I'm getting the impression that you would encourage folks to come to the library. Absolutely. The Not yes. just for the books. Yes. <laughs> yes, to see the art. And there's always some art for sale. Mm -hmm. Okay. And oh, yeah. Twenty percent of the uh, the price will go towards the library oh, good. to so help. To yep. It to maintain. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it 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 works as a gallery in some ways and an exhibition hall. Yes. To a certain extent. Yeah. But it's just a way to enjoy the library. Um, and it's throughout the library, first and yep. second floor. Yep. Okay, I think we've pretty much covered this this segment of it. Um, is there anything else that you want to add before we wrap up? Well, I think we certainly want oh. to thank the library. Oh yes. For all the support, the endowment, mm -hmm. and the director, and all of the people that have advertised the, yep. the emails yep. that go out. And the town who's supported uh, this interview. So, you know, exactly. <laughs> thank you very much. Exactly. Because we'd That's like right. to get the word out because, uh, yeah, the, the receptions are a lot of fun. Right. <laughs> and uh, and the, art, the artwork. As well. Absolutely. And, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you both very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Time.